So today's presentation is the problems in section 8.1. The first problem we will solve is 4a and 4b. Define a relation P on integers as follows. For all integers mn, m is in relation P with n if and only if m and n have a common prime factor. We need to determine if 15 is in relation P with 25. 15 has prime factors 3 and 5. 25 has one prime factor 5. So yes, 15 is in relation P with 25 because they both have prime factor 5. For part B, we need to determine if 22 is in relation P with 27. 22 has prime factors 2 and 11. 27 has one prime factor 3. So no, 22 is not in relation P with 27 because they have no common prime factor. Any questions? Next, we will do problem 5a. Let x be a set containing a, b, c. Recall that px is the power set of x. Define a relation r on the power set of x as follows. For all a, b in the power set of x, a is in relation r with b, if and only if a has the same number of elements of b. We need to determine if set a, b is in relation r with set b, c. This is obvi obviously true because both sets have two elements. Any questions? Next, we will do problem 6a. Let x be a set containing a, b, c. Define a relation j on the power set of x as follows. For all a, b in the power set of x, a is in relation j with b if and only if a intersects b is not equal to the empty set. We need to determine if set a is in relation j with set c. This is also obvious since two sets have no common elements. The set containing a is not in relation j with the set containing c. Any questions? Next, we will do problem 7a. Define a relation r on integers as follows. For all integers m and n, m is in relation r with n if and only if 5 divides m square minus n square. We need to determine if 1 is in relation r with negative 9. The answer is yes. We substitute m by 1 and n by negative 9. 1 square minus negative 9 square is equal to 1 minus 81, which is negative 80. Since negative 80 is divisible by 5, 1 is in relation r with negative 9. Any questions? Next, we will do problem 8a and 8b. Let a be the set of all strings of a's and b's of length 4. Define a relation r on a as follows. For all s, t in a, s is in relation r with t if and only if s has the same first two characters as t. We need to determine if the string a, b, a, a is in relation r with the string a, b, b, a. The first two characters of ABAA is AB, and the first two characters of ABBA is also AB. Since the two strings have the same first two characters, the answer is yes. For part B, we need to determine if string AABB is in relation R with string BBAA. This is false because their first two characters differ. Any questions? Next, we will do problem 9a and 9b. 
Let A be the set of all strings of zeros, ones, and twos of length four. Define a relation R on A as follows. For all S T in A, S is in relation R with T if and only if the sum of the characters in S equals the sum of the characters in T. We need to determine if 0, 1, 2, 1 is in relation R with 2, 2, 0, 0. The sum of characters in 0, 1, 2, 1 is 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals 4. The sum of 2, 2, 0, 0 is 2 plus 2, also 4. So the answer is yes. For part B, we need to determine if 1011 is in relation R with 2101. The first sum is 3, while the second sum is 4. So 1011 is not in relation R with 2101. Any questions? Next, we will do problem 10. Let A be the set containing A, B, C, and B be the set containing 4, 5, 6. Let R be the less than relation. That is, for all tuples x, y in the Cartesian product of A and B, x is in relation R with y if and only if x is smaller than y. State explicitly which ordered pairs are in R and inverse relation for R. The set R contains tuples in which the first element from A is smaller than the second element from B. So if we take 3 from A as the first element, we can have 4 or 5 or 6 as the second element. If 4 is the first element, we can have 5 or 6 as the second element. If we take 5 as the first element, we can only have 6 as the second element. So the set R contains six tuples as shown here. For the inverse relation, we just need to switch the positions inside the tuples. The inverse relation for R also contains six tuples, but the first element is always greater than the second element. Any questions? Next, we will do problem 12a. Suppose the function f from x to y is 1 to 1, but not on 2. Is the inverse relation for f a function? Explain your answer. The answer is no. Since f is not on 2, there must be some element in y not related to any elements in x. We recall that the first property of the definition of function states that every element in the domain is related to some element in the codomain, which is not satisfied here. Any questions? Next, we will do problem 13. Define a relation R on set A containing 0, 1, 2, 3. The relation R is uh, defined as 0, 0, 1, 2, and 2, 2. For this problem, we need to draw a di directed graph to show the relation. Since set A contains four elements, we will represent them using dots and connect them according to relation R. Here is the directed graph. Relation R contains 0, 0, 1, 2, and 2, 2. So there is an arrow coming out of 0 and pointing to itself. There is also an arrow coming from 1 and pointing to 2. There is an arrow coming out of 2 and pointing to itself. Any questions on this graph? Next, we will do problem 19. Let A be the set containing 2, 4, and B be the set containing 6, 8, 10. Define relations R and S from A to B as follows. For all tuples x, y in Cartesian product of A and B, 
x is in relation r with y if and only if x divides y. x is in relation s with y if and only if y minus 4 equal x. We need to find the ordered pairs for the Cartesian product of a and b, relation r, relation s, r union s, and r intersects s. For the Cartesian product of a and b, we just pair elements from a and b together. So it contains six tuples. For r, we need to find tuples where the first element from A divides the second element from B. We observe that 2 in A can divide all three elements in B, and 4 in A can divide 8 in B. So R has four tuples. For S, we need to find tuples where the first element from A plus 4 is the second element in B. We observe that 2 in A plus 4 is 6 in B, and 4 in A plus 4 is 8 in B. So S has two tuples. Since S is a subset of R, R union S is R, and R intersects S is S. Any questions? That's all for section 8.1. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Yunting. Okay, so if there are no questions, I will uh, stop the recording. And that's all for today. I will post it uh, right after the lecture ends. Thank you very much. See you all on Thursday. Bye.